హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు అనదర్ ఓటీ క్లినిక్ సెషన్ ఇన్ ది ప్రీవియస్ వీడియో వి డిస్కస్డ్ అబౌట్ అ కేస్ ఆఫ్ ఓపెన్ గ్లోబ్ ఇంజురీ అండ్ టుడే వి హ్యావ్ ఎ ఫార్టీ ఇయర్ ఓల్డ్ పేషెంట్ విత్ సివియర్ హైపర్ టెన్షన్ హీ ఆల్సో హ్యాజ్ అ హిస్టరీ ఆఫ్ డయాఫోరసిస్ అండ్ రికరెంట్ హెడ్ ఏక్స్ ది బయోకెమికల్ టెస్ట్ అండ్ ఇమేజింగ్ టెక్నిక్స్ హ్యావ్ కన్ఫర్మ్ ద డయాగ్నోసిస్ ఆఫ్ ఫియోక్రోమోసైటోమా నౌ దిస్ పేషెంట్ కేమ్ టు ది పిఎస్సి క్లినిక్ let us learn how we are going to manage this case before that let us have a small recap of pheochromocytoma they are basically catecholamine secreting tumors of chromaffin tissue they are located mainly in adrenal medulla or sympathetic paraganglia the classic triad of pheochromocytoma includes severe headache diaphoresis and palpitations the pheochromocytoma is often associated with syndromes like men 2a men 2b von hippel landau syndrome and neurofibromatosis the signs and symptoms of pheochromocytoma occur as a result of episodic secretion of catecholamines that is epinephrine and norepinephrine from the tumor the diagnosis is confirmed by measuring plasma free metanephrines or urinary fractionated metanephrines the tumor can be localized using ct scan or mri scan or mibg scanning all right after knowing these basic information let us learn about the perioperative management of this case there are two main preoperative goals for this patient first to control hypertension and secondly to facilitate intravascular volume expansion so to prevent hypertensive effect of catecholamines secreted by the tumor patient is started on alpha blocking drugs 2 to 3 weeks prior to surgery the commonly used alpha blocking drugs are phenoxybenzamine which is a long acting agent 10 mg bd to a maximum of 1 mg per kg or you can use shorter acting agents like prazosin 2 to 5 mg 2 to 3 times a day or terazosin 2 to 5 mg per day but the problem is alpha blockade will cause reflex tachycardia so to counteract this patient is also started on beta blocker therapy using propranolol 20 to 82 mg 1 to 3 times a day or atenolol 12.5 to 25 mg 2 to 3 times a day here we need to remember that beta blockade should only be added after several days of alpha blockade this is because in the absence of adequate alpha blockade inhibition of beta receptor mediated vasodilation can result in unopposed alpha receptor mediated vasoconstriction due to these catecholamines secreted by the tumor and this can result in hypertensive crisis heart failure and end organ damage okay the other drugs like calcium channel blockers alpha methyl para tyrosine which inhibits catecholamine synthesis by inhibiting the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase can also be used and remember that while starting alpha blockade make sure you encourage the patient to consume more fluids and salt in order to facilitate volume expansion and avoid orthostatic hypotension now what are the preoperative treatment end points in this patient this is important to remember bp control of less than 160 by 90 for more than 24 hours second point less than one premature ventricular contraction every 5 minutes third point absence of st segment changes and t wave inversions on ecg for one week fourth point hematocrit decrease of 5% which will suggest the adequacy of intravascular volume expansion and finally orthostatic hypertension not less than 80 by 45 standing okay now this patient got shifted to ot what are the intraoperative considerations monitor these patients with ecg especially the v5 lead pulse oximetry intraarterial blood pressure monitoring core temperature monitoring central venous pressure monitoring and also urinary catheter ensure you have a large bore iv cannula or a central venous access ensure adequate depth of anesthesia 
before doing tracheal intubation. Give lignocaine 1.5 mg per kg IV 90 seconds to 2 minutes before laryngoscopy. Remember this list of drugs which are better avoided in these patients. They are atracurium, ketamine, morphine, pancuronium, halothane, metaclopramide, ephedrine and droperidol. For treatment of intraoperative hypertension, you can use the following drugs. Nicardipine infusion 5 to 15 mg per hour, fentolamine 0.1 to 2 mg per minute infusion, nitroglycerin NTG 20 to 40 microgram boluses or infusion 5 to 20 microgram per minute, labetalol 5 to 10 mg boluses every 20 to 30 minutes, propranolol 1 mg boluses maximum of 10 mg, esmolol 5 to 10 mg bolus followed by 0.25 to 0.5 microgram per kg per minute. And for treatment of hypotension, give IV fluids, phenylephrine or use norepinephrine infusions. Now, the surgery went well and you have shifted the patient to post-op. And suddenly, patient developed severe hypotension. Why does this occur? This severe hypotension is due to abrupt fall in the circulating catecholamines after tumor resection, combined with the residual effects of preoperative alpha blockade. This can be treated with IV fluids and norepinephrine or you can give vasopressin if the patient is catecholamine resistant. Now, the same patient after shifting to post-op was found to be unconscious. What will you do immediately? Check the plasma glucose levels because severe hypoglycemia may ensue in these patients as a result of rebound hyperinsulinemia. This effect occurs due to insulin release from the tumor excision. So it is important to closely monitor blood pressure and glucose for 24 hours in the post-operative unit. Alright, so I hope this episode was helpful to you. And if you want us to make more such videos on exam case discussions, like the video and show your support. And also, do mention the cases you want us to come up with in the comments below. Share this video with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next case discussion. Thank you.